But those were unintentional. Now she says the trip to Africa was all work, including talks with leaders there about a possible museum in New Orleans. It was really also exploring the concept at the time that was uh, really crafted by a man here, Lloyd Lazard, wanting to create a national uh, slave ship museum. I think perception could be just that. Uh, if uh, someone wants to make it that, I'm sure in their mind they can. But the reality is no connection at all. I would not have even thought that because it wasn't a connection. City Hall records show that in spring of 2013, after winning a seat in a special election for the city council, the councilwoman headed to Ghana in West Africa. Here are pictures from that trip in which Cantrell used a City Hall credit card to pay for the airfare. And it's been a very robust partnership, not only with me from Broadmoor, but the city of New Orleans in advancing there. Records from the Secretary of State's office show that from 2008 through 2013, Cantrell was the registered agent of a New Orleans-based nonprofit called in the Osaji Fo uh, Institute of Personal Development. Their office was on South Broad Street in Broadmoor, where Cantrell lives. The listed president of the group, Father John Asari Dankwa, a well-known Catholic priest who is originally from Ghana. And the Oxford English Dictionary lists the definition of Osayafo as a name of the first prime minister of Ghana. So we asked the Democrat, did the city-funded trip benefit her nonprofit. Um, so no connection at all. This comes as Cantrell has come under fire in recent days for reimbursing the city almost $9,000 for non-business expenditures put on her city credit card. $4,400 of which was paid just days prior to her qualifying for mayor. Cantrell's campaign has defended the practice, saying previously, I regret any errors made in the use of the card, but those were unintentional. Now she says the trip to Africa was all work, including talks with leaders there about a possible museum in New Orleans.